here at Loughborough University to have our first ride on the world's first road registered hydrogen fuel cell scooter. So what is it? Well it's a modified Bergman 125. It looks completely standard and that's part of the point. They don't want this to be something that's come from the future and made you look all wacky. They want it to be a first stab at a real production hydrogen fuel cell. Evolution of 2007's cross cage motor, but it's got twice the pressure in the fuel tank, which means it can carry twice as much hydrogen, giving it a range of 220 miles. That's four times more than battery only rivals. So how does it work? Well, down here you've got a hydrogen tank which is running at 10,000 psi. That feeds the fuel cell which is here under the seat. That generates electricity by reacting hydrogen and oxygen with platinum as a catalyst. That produces electricity and a bit of water. That feeds the battery and then the battery feeds the motor which is in the uh, down by the back wheel and the swing arm. Well, there's 40 million scooters and commuters sold every year. There's huge pressure on bike emissions and there's not a lot of prospect of batteries increasing in their range significantly. It's a little bit down on power from a petrol 125, but the throttle response is very smooth, and because it's not got lots and lots of big heavy batteries, it's very easy to handle, very light, and doesn't really feel any different to any other scooter you've ridden.